everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is natalie i uh, hope everyone's doing well so i'm really excited to jump on here today with you guys and show some of my most recent favorites um i did want to let you all know side note i did live in london for almost a year um this was during the whole situation that happened um this past year so i have a friend that their cousin is a esthetician so she has her own um salon so i used to get my microdermabrasion done there amazing great service great quality my skin looked amazing um i'll do another video on that and kind of walk you through the things that i got done at her salon and um yeah, so microdermabrasion was one for my facials like every three weeks, I think, or every month. And then they were amazing. So hopefully this does the job. Um, I do have like kind of big pores. Please excuse my nails. I haven't gotten them done. I need to get them done. I'm going on a trip this week, so I wanted to have fresh nails as soon as I went. Um, other one is the uh, Radia, which is kind of like the Clear Sonic. Um, I did try the Clear Sonic a while back. Um, I just sometimes saw it over exfoliated my face, so I stopped using it. But I'm going to try this one, and hopefully this one works well. Just because, you know, when you have your makeup, you just want something to get a little bit deeper in your skin and really help your nighttime products go in properly. Uh, so, going to be trying. And the next one that I purchased is the, um, is it Aria? The era so this is the uh face steamer i'm really excited to use that really good to you know open up your pores and get it ready for the microdermabrasion really lift the gunk out of your face so excited to start using those um they just came in mail probably like a couple days ago so i'm gonna start using that another thing for skincare um is this um super goop play spf excuse the dirty packaging it's because uh take it everywhere um, so yeah i do use this when i go on my trips and stuff and then also kind of like every day if i'm not wearing a primer or moisture that already has spf or if my foundation doesn't have spf then i go ahead and add this or if i'm just doing moisturizer going to the gym or whatever i do put this on um and works really well. I like it. It's like the second one I've purchased. I just put one of my friends onto it. Um, his mo moisturizer finished. So tell me why. Please, please, somebody here tell me why. Guys think that 100 SPF is actually realistic. I don't even know. So I told my friend, okay, yours is right now. Let me buy you one. So I bought him this one. And... Hopefully he likes it. I have no idea. But he says he's been using it. So we'll see. Um, also, today I am wearing fake lashes. Um, I did have eyelash extensions. The place that I went to did a horrible job. They did a horrible job. So now I'm kind of like lashless. I look kind of like a naked mole rat. I look a little bit awkward. So I used to use just like mascara and like put that on and I'd call it a day very natural but I have some that are like growing out some really short some normal length and then I feel like with eyelash extensions they end up going completely straight out so like your eyelashes are not like curled anymore how they used to be so mine's used to be like very curly but not anymore so since I've gotten them taken off I've just been wearing a lot I like my lash shirts wearing eyelashes i don't know where my head's at today and um these are my favorite um house of lashes the allura light these ones are really good i like them like they kind of give you like little mm, little sexy vibes and um that's for the eyelashes i do have a few other favorites but they're kind of trash so i need to get more left that for me um, also another thing that I just recently purchased is the Charlotte Tilbury, um, Fall Airless, Flawless. 
the new Tar Charlotte Tilbury uh, Airbrush Flawless Finish and the two medium. That's the color I use. Um, so it's this one. Really nice. Um, so it does leave like a really nice matte finish. Nothing too drastic. So um, I've been using that and I really liked it. I've been using it for a couple weeks now. Really like it. But with that, I also use uh, this Soft Focus Loose Powder from Holly Boone. So it's H&B Cosmetics. Um, so this is her line of makeup that she's come out with. She is a UK-based uh, makeup artist. Uh, she came out with her own line. So I did buy a few things from her uh, when I was living in London. Uh, I think I'll double check on the website, but I'm pretty sure you can get it shipped here. But when I was living over there, I needed new powders, so I just took advantage. Um, the other one is the H&B Cosmetics Bronzer. That's what I'm wearing right now as well. So it's a really nice color. Nothing too orange, uh, nor too red or ashy. Um, and this is this color, and this is in the shade six medium golden really nice color i think it pretty much fits every skin tone um they do have a few different they do have a few different shades so you might want to check those out um for the loose powder i did purchase it in two colors so i purchased it in the fair and this one is the translucent and it literally leaves you with like the most bright under eye like so i have on so um, I've been doing the new thing that I found on TikTok, which is doing the puff, like the powder puff, under the eye. So I have the one that I used to use from my uh, Laura Mercier one. So that's what I've been using, and it actually does really like leave really nice color. So I'll go ahead and try this one out. Um, with uh, my MAC brush in, what is this? 129, my 129 MAC brush. So this is what I usually use to like put powders on. So we'll do it here because I'm a little bit shiny. Like, wow, what? We'll do a little bit on my forehead as well because I, I do look a little bit shiny. My nose. chin get a little bit more product so I like to you know tap the excess and then swirl it around get whatever like very nicely on the brush and then kind of wherever I might be looking a little oily so wow look at that and then there's this side, and then there's this side. So do the other side too, so I don't look crazy while I'm doing this video. But see how you can see the difference of this oily. So it does leave it really nice. Um, so I really do suggest this. I'm going to go ahead and also link all of the items that I will show you today uh, down below and you can go ahead and you know check those out and probably purchase them because I do think you'll really like them. Also from the H&B Cosmetics, I did buy this uh, Dare To Be Different. It's a blusher um, and it is it does come with a mirror as well, so it's cute. It's more of like an orangey, peachy tone. Um, and this one is in the shade self-made. So when I did purchase uh, the whole little bundle, they did have a promotion going on. So if, uh, I think it's a 25 pound purchase, then you would get a free blusher. So I did buy a few of the colors. Went and got those. And then currently, pretty much all the time, I am the most basic creature of habit you can know i always buy a lot of stuff and then i don't even end up using it like 
I don't know what to do with myself sometimes. So my palette is very beat up. It's the Morphe um, palette and it is in the color 25B. It's the bronzed mocha. Beautiful colors. You can, you'll see which ones I've used the most um, in the palette. So very neutral, um, very warm tones. I usually like to go to like browns and like orangish and it kind of like makes my eyes a little bit brighter. So I don't know, I like that. So I did also get another package. I just haven't gotten around to using it because I have been traveling. So kind of been getting tan while I'm out. So I did get this from Lux Unfiltered. Um, so I do follow her on Instagram. She does have a company called Tan Lines, uh, Lux Unfiltered, and then it's her. So really like her stuff from what I've seen. So I did make the purchase. It says Real Beauty, no filter. And it did come with this uh, travel bag, which is super cute. You know, put all your stuff in when you're traveling, maybe blow dryer, these products, anything that you really want. Um, first thing is the number 28 exfoliating body, body polish. And so it's this one. Camera's gonna focus, yeah. So it's this one and in the scent of Santal. So if you are familiar with the Santal scent, beautiful, really nice. Um, Le Labo has it, and I think, yeah, I think that's the only one, but I'm not too sure. So go ahead and smell that, then you'll really like this scent. Um, so it is a body polish, and then it also came with a little spoon to pick it up with so you don't put your whole hand in there um also the number 32 hydrating self tanning cream so it's this one so this one is really nice because it's like a bronzer i mean not bronzer a self tanner but it just doesn't have the color or the smell so this is the cute packaging so that's what that is and then so they're all sealed, which I like. Um, this one's going to be really nice. It doesn't have that dark already tone when you put it on. So it's a self-gradual tanner, pretty much is what it is. That is nice because I've kind of been hesitant to use bronzers. I mean, self-tanners. I've been hesitant to use self-tanners because they leave you with like the ankle i mean the wrist bit or when you're washing your hands or it stains your hands so wanted to kind of stay away from that so i heard a lot of good things about this one also i did get the number 14 conditioning body cream so it's this one and all of these are in the scent of santal they do have some that are don't have any fragrance whatsoever but i did want something with a fragrance because if i'm going to be putting it on i want it to smell and smell nice um so i do trust the scents that she does because we kind of fall into the same range of scents um that i like so want to try this one as well so i will keep you all posted on how those work out um i will be taking a few holidays so once i post this it's gonna be like two weeks until i'm back posting another video i'll have another video up before i leave or during the week that i leave but so far, I'm going to let you know how these go. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm so excited to be posting more content for you. So if you do have any suggestions or would like me to post videos of something in particular, please go ahead and, you know, send me an email. Um, comment down below and give me some suggestions. I'm open to everything. So leave some suggestions down below and go ahead and follow me on Instagram. So I will link my Instagram down below. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to subscribe, you know, it really does help me like, share it with your friends, you know, let's all, you know, let's really make this fun.